We're in Microsoft Windows 8 and Windows Server 8. I'm going to show you how to turn on and use sticky keys. Sticky keys it makes it easier for people with coordination issues when they are trying to use a computer keyboard. So click on Control Panel, then All Control Panel Items. Go to View By. Make sure you're near the large or small icons. From here, click on the Ease of Access Center. Scroll all the way down to where it says Make it easier to focus on tasks and then we'll choose to turn on sticky keys. So when we turn these on we can use the press keyboard shortcut such as control alt delete one key at a time. That allows us to not have to be able to click all three at a time which is very difficult for some people to do. And when we're done we can go ahead and click apply. We can also click set up sticky keys to do some additional things such as what we just did a second ago. We can turn on sticky keys when shift is pressed five times. So if I press shift five times one, two, three, four, five. Then my sticky keys option turns on, and I'm going to go ahead and choose no at this time. And we can display that warning message that popped up. You saw the warning message come up. That's what that was about. We can also make a sound happen when we're turning this on or off, if the person has the ability to hear that. We can lock mod modifier keys when pressed twice in a row. So that way you don't have to hold those keys down. You can turn off sticky keys when two keys are pressed at once. So if you don't want to use that anymore, just hold down two keys at the same time, any two keys, and then it'll turn the sticky keys off. And in order to apply that, click the Apply button or click OK, and it'll take you back to the Ease of Access Center.